Wolverines last Saturday. They start on the ground and nothing doing. It's a great job of eating blocks and just allowing those linebackers and safeties to make plays. Mertz, quick throw, flutter ball over the head of Adam Krumholtz. A temperature in the mid 40s, about what you'd expect in Chicagoland. In November, on third and ten, they swing it for Garrett Groshek, and he's dropped for a loss. Indiana is legit. They are. They're for real. Points. On the 21 on first down, Jalen Berger, as you said, without Kendrick Pryor and Danny Davis, two playmakers at wide receiver. They need to find people who can make plays. Berger, the leading candidate. Graham Mertz on target, and there's a first down for the Badgers. Groshek is the running back. He's back to action this week. Mertz pulls it down. Seemed to welcome the contact from Blake Gallagher. They're going to have to make plays through the air. Groshek lost the football after he got collared. They have the line of scrimmage and the Wildcats have It's frustrating. It's early in the game, very early, but that feels like a very big play. Nice throw on the roll by Graham Mertz on target to Jack Dunn. It's the second career game for Spencer Lytle. And a highlight early with the big fumble recovery. Nakia Watson got nothing. Side the passion guy. On second and ten after the fake, Mertz to his tight end Jake Ferguson. Always changed the subject. Injured player was J.R. Pace. There's a new safety in the game right now for Northwestern. Nice Jackson. Ferguson, the catch, but looks to be short of the first down. It's fourth and one for Wisconsin. And Paul Christ is going to go for it from his own 46-yard line. Nakia Watson, the tailback. Nakia Watson couldn't break free from Blake Gallagher. I don't have anybody returning who had had a 100-yard career rushing game. Mertz, good fake, has a man free, and it is caught, and it is a touchdown for Chimere DK. 30 Eastern time, right here on ABC in the ESPN app. Sooners have won four in a row. Right, Groshek taken down from behind by Eku Leota. The Northwestern tied at seven with first place. In the Big Ten West on the line. Mertz. Across the line of scrimmage. Has the first down and much more. Doesn't slide down. Takes a hit. When it happens, but you'd have to think that they would stick with the hot hand Mertz if he continues to play like this. Cohen took him to the Rose Bowl last year. The game. Balls out. Mertz sacked and stripped. Pile up for the ball. Three yards in the long touchdown. A lot of pre-snap shift in motion by this Wisconsin offense. And running room for Jalen Berger, the latest in a long line of Wisconsin running backs from the state of New Jersey. As, as a week ago. Here's Berger again with running room. Eugene coached the Ducks to so much success. Graham Marks wants to go deep again, fires over the middle in the traffic and a nice catch. He's a terrific player. Nakia <laughs> Watson, that player in Wisconsin's history, catch three touchdowns of to the game. Marks on target, nice catch by Jack Dunn. Your offense, because you know they're going to be able to run the football at some point in every game. Nine out of ten now, and third and one, they go to a play fake, and he's in trouble, and did well to hang on to the ball. And they wound up going to the Rose Bowl, 25th anniversary of that. Here's Jalen Berger with some space on the edge. Right now averaging 10 yards per carry, 17-yard game for carries 40 yards. They give it to Mason Stocky, the fullback. He loves Gary Barnett. Boy, did Pat 
talk effusively about his coach when he visited yesterday. All dropped by. He's got three really good ones on this team, too, that he enjoys watching. There's Groshek on third down and ten. They go to a running play on third and long, and it works. Touchdown was 49 yards. And on the 48 now. Here's Berger. Burst of speed and. As a starter, got a six-year of eligibility. Great to see him back. Played very well. Joe Rudolph deflected pass and another turnover. Brandon Joseph intercepts it. Sure now in the low 40s. Low breeze, partly cloudy skies overhead. Wisconsin and Northwestern debut last week against Michigan. Ran for 87 yards. Here he comes again. And here's Jalen Burger. He faked it to him. Mertz's pass played at the Harvard of Central New York Syracuse University back in the 20s. High throw, another turnover. Intercepted by Brandon Joseph. Countdown at six. Conservative run call there. The offensive coordinator. Swing pass, Groshek. Out of the way. And got a first down. Time, throws it away over the head of Derek Brogan. Low snap handled by Graham Mertz. 6'3, 215. He's on target. Jake Ferguson. Colin Larsh is 44 yards. Mertz again, lots of time. Too much time. There's a flag thrown. He got the first down to DK. Other than that, they've been pretty stacked. Graham Burks hands it off. Here's Jalen Berger again. Bex. To the ground again with Jalen Berger. The throat of this Northwestern defense. Derek Groshek, the running back. They set up a screen to him. Two of the best defensive teams in the country. In the last five meetings, Wisconsin's averaged just 20 points per game against Northwestern. They won three out of those five. Burks couldn't find anybody and nearly threw his third interception as Chris Berg and the linebacker got his hands on him. Had to kind of get it turned around. Tom McShay talked at the beginning of the telecast about his talent. Certainly a top recruit in terms of the recruiting ratings coming out of high school. Jalen Berger, and he's after his junior year in high school. Third down and five. Five minutes into the second half. Wisconsin down by a touchdown. Mertz. Finally gets rid of it. And the Wisconsin offense. Shifted Mason Stocky, the fullback, back into the backfield. That pass. 20 for 21 in the opener against Illinois. 12 for 22 last week against Michigan. And as you saw, 12 for 21. The high character of the coaching staff and the players that he met feels the same way about his teammates, coaches at Northwestern, Mertz. In this running game. That's for his first career 100 yard rushing game. Kia Watson gets the call here. Leading returning rusher trouble on the handoff. And the ball is still free. And it looked like Jake Ferguson got it back for Wisconsin. The receiver with three career catches. Good special teams player for the walk on. Here's Chimray DK. Into a bad place on this third and long. Ooh, problem on the exchange. They're there to smother it. Undefeated teams that are non-power five have played great football this year. With a play fake, nice execution by Wisconsin. Mertz on target to Jake Ferguson. Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. Bedlam, prime time tonight. 
Jalen Berger. He got a rock. Wearing a brace on his arm. Looked like the other arm. Merge throws. Low throw, but a good catch. But it's short of the first down by about four yards. Stephon Bracey. I think he's a good weapon as a receiver as well. We'd love to have Ferguson in the passing game. They gave it to the fullback, Stocky. Berger, the running back. It's Merckx, the keeper, for the first down with a yard to spare. Ten at the Northwestern 27 as the fourth quarter begins. Galen Berger following the fullback, Jason Stocky. Most targeted receiver has the most catches for Wisconsin today. Graham Marks up for grabs, and it is incomplete out of bounds. Northwestern football to top. Sharp a little bit out there on the field. He's a top. Jack Dunn. Oh, Here comes a blitz, and Marks gets taken down back in the 33 yard line. Oh, how about. Northwestern is a team. That's their tenth interception today in five ball games. Screen. Mason Stocky tackled around the legs to go. If they don't convert it, they go for the fourth down in their own 25, 26 yard line. Second effort. As we mentioned a couple times, they're playing without wide receivers Kendrick Pryor. And Danny Davis today. Watson bangs ahead for a couple. Special. Second and eight. Watson using a lot of time. Here comes pressure up the middle again. Graham Burks. There it is right there. And this play. into traffic battle for the ball they think it's an interception on the northwestern sideline and it is pat fitzgerald foregoing a field goal if successful would have forced wisconsin to score two touchdowns now 10 points would get them into a tie but second half point in their first three games against maryland iowa and nebraska to do the only team to score western had time to substitute Three out of 14 on third down and DK again now on the same page. And the game was against Northwestern. 2015. And Marks, Jake Ferguson breaks free from the tackle. Nickel and dime them down the field. 23 yard gain, first catch of the season for Crumholz. Marks pulled down. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Marks with under four minutes to go. Nice catch by Garrett Groshek on a clock running, three and a half to go. They fake a draw. Hurts weaves for away from the traffic, throws a wobbler up for grabs and complete. Three man rush on second and ten. Crum Holtz. Are not used to being in this position. Groshek taken down. Fisher for a big loss. It's among active Big Ten players, third most in the country. Fourth and six, they had to have it, they don't get it. 2004 against second ranked Ohio State. Hurts. So let me ask you this question. 18 So you're saying there's a chance. 